the chorus of voices from organizations and primarily the mainstream media on the left calling for Joe Biden to leave the presidential race for the good of the country has now grown to virtually an intolerable crescendo for his administration. Many people on the right have said, well, we've known this for a long time. They were going to replace him. The one person, however, that they could replace him with that would win going away, they are keeping hidden. And they're hiding this person right in plain sight. Nobody is talking about this. Some are probably scratching their heads. Are you talking about Gavin Newsom? Are you talking about Kamala Harris? No, absolutely not. Because this person, if they brought them into the race, would activate a group of voters that in November had planned for a long time to not even vote. A huge block of voters would all of a sudden be activated. And two videos ago, we alluded to it. I can't believe I've uh, taken this long to make this video, but I'm going to be the first to say it. President Trump better hope and pray that Joe Biden stays in the race. You see, they had absolutely no problem um, doping up Joe Biden for the State of the Union. I had made this thumbnail in a prediction because it was so late at night, and Joe Biden at the State of the Union came out and just absolutely clobbered it. Didn't agree with a lot of what he said, but as far as his tone and his ability to deliver the message, it wasn't a problem. And that was only months ago. But now they let him fail. Why? See, this is battlefield of the mind stuff. This is stuff where you've really got to put aside your emotions. And that's going to be key to this video and understanding who the replacement is and why they're going to choose him and why the right is going to have absolutely no answer for him. Neither will Donald Trump. It'll be somebody that he will not be able to debate. He'll lose badly to this person because the group of people that's going to get activated will never in a million years vote for him. If you'd like to join us, Battlefield of the Mind training, psychological operations training. It's only one U.S. dollar, one single U.S. dollar per month at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. It's even less, however, than a dollar a month, if you can imagine that these days with the prices of everything. Less than a dollar a month if you sign up for an entire year at one time. Fully refundable, first 90 days, no questions asked, Hundreds and hundreds of videos going all the way back to 2018, back to the middle of the Trump administration, when we started talking about PSYOPs, talking about all these different tactics and techniques that I learned in the military that they trained us for. That's what I did. I was um, Army Psychological Operations, Army Intelligence. There is a very small handful of videos, a brand new one we just put up, for the folks who have signed up at the $5 a month level. Now, that's not required. Thank you. God bless all of you who have, making a huge, huge difference in my life. But once again, you get the same discount if you sign up there for a year as well. So would love to have you. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are scratching your heads. Well, Florida Maquis, it's got to be somebody like, I mean, are you talking about, you know, uh, Big Mike from uh, the Obama administration? You're talking about that individual? I mean, uh, President Obama clearly can't be. I mean, the Newsom, I mean, Newsom would get killed by Donald Trump. So would Kamala Harris. They'd both get smoked. Who could it be? You see, remember Q? Remember this idea of exposing the deep state? Trump and the deep state? That's what people said he didn't do in his first term, that they want to bring him back to finish the job? See, all these people in the Biden administration who are pulling the strings from behind the scenes, they don't want anything to do with it. Well, none of them except for one. You see, there's one person in this group who would have absolutely no problem going in front of the mainstream media right now and not have to worry about getting criticized at all. Florida Maquis. I don't care who it is from the Biden administration. If they, I'm going to criticize them. Oh, you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to. See, all these people want to continue to have their power behind the scenes. That's what Donald Trump was making the point, is that it's Biden is a puppet. Biden's just, you know, a front man. All these people exercise behind him, exercise the real power. Who? 
who would be the one that could step to the front, stand in front of the media, and nobody would dare criticize him. It's even now the Atlanta Journal-Constitution on top of the New York Times has said, Trump needs to, uh, pardon me, Joe Biden needs to drop out of the race. Well, here you go, five minutes and 20 seconds in. Florida Marquis, Pete Buttigieg, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He's, he's way too young. He's the same age as Ron DeSantis. He is the same age as Ron DeSantis, and as we all know, he's made a giant big show of making everybody know and letting everybody know how gay he is. He was the mayor of South Bend, Indiana. For those of you who don't know, that's the home of Notre Dame, which is basically the home of the Catholic Church in North America. And this guy was the mayor of the little city where Notre Dame um, resides. Now, they don't care, the Catholics these days. They don't care one bit about the, about the sodomy, the homosexuality. But this guy was a veteran. And he's young. Now, remember... Two videos ago when I said I totally understand, completely understand the hopelessness and the depression and the despondence the young people have in this country because they don't have a real choice that represents them. Well, guess what? Guess what? You put a 41-year-old in the race and he's 41 years old. Remember something. Those of you who are already typing, stop typing. You are not allowed to criticize gay people. Trust me on this. Anyone out there within the sound of my voice right now who is also a YouTuber, I know there's a lot of people out there who watch my channel, who have other channels. Please, down in the comments, let everybody know. You are not allowed to criticize. You are automatically a homophobe. Well, clearly they, this person has a problem with the homosexuals. They have problems with... With, with gays. And that's why they're really attacking. That's going to be their whole point. Trust me on this. The youth vote will come out in droves to vote for this guy. And all he'll have to do to get the women, all he'll have to do to get the women is say, you know what? I'm going to make sure that I'm going to do everything I can in the next eight years, with, and he will get eight years, to reinstate abortion as a uh, proper method for getting, for convenience, birth control. And he'll get the women. And once he gets all of the women, oh, believe me, your, your wives and girlfriends and daughters and nieces and sisters and moms, they're all going to say, oh, yeah, I'm going to vote for Trump. And they're not going to vote for Trump. They're going to go in and they're going to vote for this guy. Just based on Roe v. Wade alone. And, of course, they love guys like this because pff, no guy like this is ever going to get them pregnant. Because he's gay. You see, here's the dirty little secret. Gay is the new black. See, it used to be you couldn't criticize a black person. Now, now, you can't criticize a gay person for any reason whatsoever. You can't say one negative thing about them. And believe me, these algorithms on all of social media are designed, already baked in for years to artificially promote everything gay, everything trans, everything alternative lifestyle. And I know all of you have seen it. And Donald Trump will have no answer for it. Oh, he's just an old homophobe. He's the old guy. But it'll really be about him being the old guy. And who remembers? May 23, 2019, Pete Buttigieg explains how serving in Afghanistan helped his rise to improbable 2020 presidential contender. That's right. He was a presidential contender back in 2020. A lot of people look at him and they think, oh, what is he like? 19 is 41. He's the same age as Ron DeSantis. And this guy will be able to tell about his time in Afghanistan, having served. So he'll take a certain percentage of the veteran vote. He'll take a certain percentage of the veteran vote because a lot of them don't like the whole idea of um, you know, Trump's history with the military. And look up all of his wiki. He, he ticks all the boxes. Harvard, Oxford, Pembroke, Democratic Party. He will be seen as the reasonable answer, the reasonable respondent. You can read through, he has, 
After graduating from South Bend St. Joe High School, uh, Buttigieg attended Harvard, Harvard Institute of Politics, Magna Cum Lung, Phi Beta Kappa, Rhodes Scholarship, University of Oxford, Pembroke. He believe me, he ticks all of the uh, all of the boxes for what would ignite. And I think that's the right term. What would ignite the left? It's only June. People forget this. They are, they think the election's already over. It's only June. Remember, Romney was winning by huge, huge margins over Obama back in 2012. And I'm telling you right now, Trump better pray that Biden stays in. He better pray. Because if they put, and I mark my words, mark my words, they're going to wait. They're going to wait for just the right time. And then they're going to roll this guy out and... Every every young person, every millennial, every Gen Z, all of them, just based on the fact that he represents their era, he represents somebody who's young, with new ideas, and the future. Gavin Newsom doesn't represent that. Kamala Harris doesn't represent that. This guy does. And remember... You're not going to be able to criticize the guy. You can't do it on these platforms. I'm not allowed to do it. I'm not allowed to... The only reason I have been able to get away with saying what I've said about the gay agenda is because I've done it in the context of uh, Rubin, who is Dave Rubin, who is a conservative gay, which, you know, the gay people don't like him because he's a conservative. So... I can talk about that when, as long as you put up a picture of him, you can say something negative. But even then, you have to watch what you say. You've got to tread very carefully. These are the new rulers. And I'm going to say something right now that not a lot of people have thought of. This will be the reason the the Muslim world has to justify starting... It's basically World War IV at this point and nuking our country. If we put a sodomite in the West House, in the, pardon me, in the West Wing of the White House, if we elect a sodomite as president, it will send the message to them that there's now no more hope for America to return to any type of a God, even Christian God, godly way of living or governing. It will be a complete renouncing of God, a complete turning away from God. The Muslims and Islam are basically worship the same Jehovah God that, believe it or not, the Jews and the Christians do. They just have a very different take on it. They have their own prophet, Muhammad, you know, and they they call God Allah. And they recognize that Jesus Christ lived, and they even recognize parts of the Bible. But believe me, if this country, especially one that was an infidel invader, an infidel sodomite invader who brags about his time in Afghanistan, killing them, and has done so many times, this would be all the excuse they would need. They'd say, that's it. That's it. There is no more hope for America. There's absolutely no more hope for America. They have completely exhausted every chance we have given them to return to something that can be respected on the national stage. Oh, and there'll be huge parties all across this, this country. Massive parties when this guy gets elected. You know, it'll be a new way forward and all of the youth will be so happy. It'll be all over TikTok and, and it'll be like America is, be, this, will be, this will be so much bigger than Obama. This will be so much bigger than Obama, an openly gay, former soldier, young, bright, former mayor. After four years of Biden, after the whole Trump thing, believe me, Trump better pray. Trump had better pray that Biden does not drop out, because if he does, 
and they put up Pete Buttigieg. You know, to to die hard Trump supporters, yeah, I mean, you'll go look at the debate and you'll automatically say, yeah, Trump killed him. But to everybody else, including the entire youth vote, including the entire youth vote, and any woman anywhere who's ever had birth control pills or any woman anywhere who's ever had an abortion or known anybody who's had an abortion, trust me, Trump is not going to get Pete Buttigieg to stumble over his words. The guy is incredibly well-spoken. He's going to be a tough nut to crack in a debate. Like I said, I don't agree with the guy's lifestyle or the direction that he would want to take this country. But in an honest assessment of his ability, this guy would be all Ron DeSantis could handle. You see, I don't think Ron DeSantis would have any problem absolutely smoking Pete Buttigieg in a, in a debate because they're both from that era. They're both 40, 40 something. They're grown adults, but they're still in well in command of their faculties. And they're both ex military and they're both from kind of the legal eagle end of the military. So they could have an incredibly intelligent um, banter back and forth about um, philosophy, about direction, about what to do to fix things. But Pete Buttigieg versus Donald Trump, not even close. Buttigieg will kill him. In the, in the mind of young people, just because of his ability to be eloquent. And after, it's, it's really also about palate. After, after the, the complete depression and um, despondence they have felt over everybody the Democrats have put up so far. Kamala Harris is terrible. Gavin Newsom is terrible. Biden, so bad. This guy, this guy would be that breath of fresh air for them. Mark my words. I know I got a lot of Trump supporters out there that are probably mad about this. They're probably upset. They don't think this is the case. Trust me on this one. I know there's some gay people out there who probably don't like to hear this, but it is the reality. You, I've been on social media for a long time. Ask anybody who's been on social media as any type of a creator anywhere. You say even the most minor negative thing about anybody in that community, you are done. You are shadow banned. You are blocked. You are destroyed. They don't, they do not like debate. They have one vision for the world, how it should be. And then everybody else is wrong. And believe me, they have a huge cadre of people in California that control all of social media, huge cadre of people that have nothing better to do all day than to go find people that disagree with them and downvote and destroy their channels. That's what they do. That's what they have made. And they've done a very good job of doing it. And believe me, you stand this guy up, oh, it's over. This guy will be president. If they stand him up, there'll be no beating him. I'll leave it there. I know this is probably going to cause some controversy, but once again... Would love to have you on the Patreon channel. Psychological Operations 101. This isn't about your feelings. This is about thought. This is about taking a rational approach and saying, what, what would do something now to shake up the race? What would happen? What could happen now that would could literally tip it one way or the other? A lot of people think it was this issue with the, the poor performance on the debate stage. You ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. The Democrats are masters of emotionally manipulating their voter base. Let me say it again. The Democrats are masters at emotionally manipulating their voter base. They'll say, hey, this guy has served for 50 years. He's done service to his country and he should walk away with his head high and proud of what he's done. But now, folks, now it's time for that new breed. It's time for America to... Move into the 21st century and join the rest of the world. Uh, don't get me started on, on the whole climate change thing. This, and plus the, the gun bans. This guy is so for. This guy will get, if he gets elected, he will get your guns grabbed. He will get your guns taken away. He will assault weapons ban. And at, nobody will want to argue with the guy because he's literally sitting here holding one. 
He'll say, look, there are certain people that can have them and certain people that can't, and we're the government, you know, we're the ultimate deciders of who can and who can't. And I'm a soldier, and I know, and believe me, that's what he's going to do. So, I will leave it there. Um, not Newsom, not Kamala. You think the deep state was bad? It's not even started yet. Not even started yet. I will leave it there. Love to have you on Patreon. One US dollar per month, even less if you sign up for an entire year. Hundreds of videos for that. Hundreds of videos for that. Even less if you sign up for an entire year, fully refundable. First 90 days, $1, $5 level, doesn't matter. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.